Hey there fellow storytellers, today we are diving into an amazing storytelling experience known as the five finger pitch. It's a fantastic way to get to the core of your story down on paper in a concise and effective manner. Are you ready to give it a try? Let's jump right in. Imagine a life-sized outline of your hand right in front of you. We are going to write key story points on each finger. Don't worry, there's no room for lengthy explanations. So this story will help you to be super concise. Here's how it works. Start with a pinky finger. In this tiny space, you will write down your story genre. It's a teen drama, a heartwarming rom-com, or perhaps a character-driven comedy. If your story is an adaptation, be sure to include the name of the original book and its author. Moving on to the ring finger, you'll introduce the somebody of your story. Forget names. Provide a quick character context. Are they a 16-year-old runaway, a middle-aged widower, or maybe a single ambitious edexus? This finger sets the stage of your protagonist. The middle finger is all about desires and goals. What does your main character want? It could be to find a long-lost parent, start dating again, land a huge account, or maybe something entirely different. This finger encapsulates their driving force. Next up, we have the index finger. Here you outline the obstacles or challenges your character faces while pursuing their goals. This often introduces a significant but in the story. Maybe they lack crucial information, haven't been on a date in three decades, or have to compete with the boss's future son-in-law. Last but not the least, we have the thumb. This is where you share what makes your story special and why you're passionate about it. What sets it apart from all the other stories in the same genre? Give us the reason to be excited to dive into this narrative. Now let's pull it all together. Create a conversational one sentence pitch using these elements. For example, it's a teen drama about a 16 year old runaway who flees her home in Karachi to hitchhike to Peshawar on a mission to find the father she's never met. She's convinced she'll find him, but all she has to go on is an old picture. She doesn't even know his name. And I love this story because it gives voice to the kids that no one seems to care about. After all the years of group homes and fostering, she just wants to find someone, somewhere, anyone who might ground her and give her a home for the very first time. Voila, you have created a five finger pitch a powerful tool to set up the essence of your story. It's like your story's backbone, and now you can build upon it to create full-fledged narrative. Thanks for joining me on this storytelling adventure. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more creative storytelling tips and tricks. Go ahead, challenge yourself with a five-finger pitch, and let your imagination run wild. See you in the next episode.